Hey there. How you doing, buddy? I hear you having trouble modding your Marvel Rivals a little bit. Don't worry, I'll go over some of the common pitfalls in this video and hopefully I'll help you through something. And maybe you'll see something along the way that you'll realize that's it. That's the thing I didn't configure properly. First thing we're going to do is open the game directory. Fastest way to do this is to open your Steam and go to library. From the library, find Marvel Rivals, right click on it and choose manage, browse local files. Once you've opened browse local files, you will be able to close your Steam window. You don't need that open anymore. You're in the right folder. So left click up here and you'll see your folder. Right click and copy or hold control and hit C to copy. Close this folder and open F model. At this point, you're going to want to make sure you have the right directory for the game. So we're going to go to directory, selector. If you have not added the game yet, choose add undetected game, hit the three dots. And up here, left click, control V and press enter. At this point, you'll see it's the common Marvel Rivals folder. So you just select that folder and hit the plus button. Once it is up here and the detected game says Marvel Rivals or however you want to name it, it actually will ask you for the name here. Your UE version is the only thing that really matters. And the UE version has to be game Marvel Rivals. There's a lot of options here. You can scroll up from the bottom, but select game Marvel Rivals. Your directory should also, again, be the Steam Apps Common Marvel Rivals folder. Once this is complete, hit OK. F model will restart because you've changed where the directory it's pointing at. As you can see here, the pack chunks for the game started red, they turned green. The reason being, in the directory for the game, I have an AES key. You go to directory and select AES key. This AES key is painted in the description down below. Feel free to copy it from there. Make sure it starts with a 0x and ends with D74. Now, also make sure that you do not copy a space or add a space at the end of this, or it will not work. It is a very specific hash code to unlock these files. Now, you don't see character HQ, LQ, or WYs here. The reason being that I've already modded the game, but that's okay. The most important part here is to show you how to export one of these to the right area and how to copy and paste it. Now I did this earlier and unfortunately the video didn't have great audio quality so I'm re-recording it now. So we're going to see some files get overwritten that you won't see the first time you copy this folder but it's just important to note where you copy it to. We're going to use pack chunk VFX as our example. So the first thing we're going to do for the game is to make sure that our export folder is somewhere we know it's going to be. Now, I currently have my export folder pointed at the mods folder. But the first time I modded this game, I clicked the three dots here to bring this window up. The first time I modded the game, I added a folder inside Marvel Game Marvel called Unpack. I did this because the fastest way to mod this game is to unpack the element into the same hard drive where your game is installed. Now, if you have an SSD or you have an M2 drive like I've got, it'll go a lot faster, but it's still gonna be an issue sometimes with getting everything done. So what you're gonna wanna do is put it to the same folder so that all the time is used exporting and unpacking the files and not copying them from one of your spinning platter drives to another drive. I'll choose this folder of Marvel Rivals, Marvel Game, and Marvel Unpack because I created this folder. You won't see it the first time. The first time you ever come into Marvel Rivals, Marvel Game, Marvel, Unpack won't be here. You'll see binaries, content, and plugins. I clicked New Folder. I made Unpack. And then you select the folder, and that becomes where you're unpacking it to. The game here, just to check again, make sure you keep directory structures enabled. Make sure your game version is set to Marvel Rivals. Make sure your archive directory is set to common slash Marvel Rivals and no further. And that you're set to desktop. Hit OK here. Because we changed where the output directory is pointing, it's going to restart F model. Let it restart. Now, we're looking at F model here and you see the files for the game. In your game, if it's unmodded, you will have additional pack files here like character.pack, LQ, HQ, and WYs.pack. I have already unpacked those and put them into this folder. So for our purposes this time, we will use Pack Chunk Movies S01. How about that? Or you know what? Let's do something more. We'll use VFX. So the first thing we're going to do to export now that we've set our settings and our directory 
is double left click the pack chunk VFX windows. And again, in your case, if you're doing the character files, this would be for character. If you're doing UI mods like spray paints and icons, it would be the LQ and HQ pack files that you see in there. If you're doing sound mods, it would be WYs. Now that I've double clicked into it, so again, just go back to archives, double click the one you want, single left click the folder Marvel, and if you want, you can look at the structure here. And as you can see, it's giving us Marvel content Marvel and then adding VFX here. So we're gonna go ahead and right click on the Marvel folder at the top and go export folders, raw packages data. Once we've done that, and it will take a minute, you're gonna see a link right here called successfully exported Marvel. Go ahead, left click on that link. Once you've done it, it will take us to that unpack folder that we created. Or if you still have it in your mods folder, it's in your mods folder. If you have it in a folder called, this is where I unpacked Marvel Rivals, that's what it'll be called. Go into exports. This is all you have to grab. You do not have to go into Marvel, content, Marvel, VFX. You don't have to do any of this. You have to go to exports and just, I copy it so that there's always a backup and I already have a backup of this, so I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna right click, cut. Then I go back to the Marvel game folder, okay? So you might be in a different folder and have to come in here, but you wanna get to the Marvel game folder. Right click and paste. It will add the original game assets from the unpacked pack file to the folders they would have been in if the game didn't have packaged files. And again, it's asking me to replace these because I already did this earlier. I'm gonna go right ahead and replace them. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is what you have to do to turn on your mods. To go to Marvel, Content, Packs. And in here, I have the VFX Windows Pack. I can close F model because I don't need it at the moment. I want to show you that the game will launch afterwards. Pack chunk VFX windows. Now, this is the one we unpacked. We're going to remove it from this folder entirely. I'm just going to move it to my desktop, right? Totally out of the way. It's not there. It's no longer in the folder. It's up here in the ceiling, okay? And since it's up here on the ceiling, it's not in this folder. So the game would not launch if I hadn't properly unpacked these files. And if it did launch, it would look very weird. You would start to see things on your screen that you're not expecting to see, or you'd have a fully white UI or something else. I'm gonna go ahead and launch the game, click it. You should see right away that the anti-cheat, as usual, will load in the bottom right corner, which is what we wanna see. There it goes, anti-cheat starting, loads up. Game comes up here. The reason I do this verification after successfully unpacking my main game files and adding them to Marvel Rivals and then removing the pack files is I want to make sure I haven't made any errors before I get to the process of adding mods. As long as the game still runs, I know that I've unpacked everything properly and put it in the right locations. If you're having issues where things aren't appearing, it's very likely that you didn't put things in the proper locations. And it may not be your fault. It's very, very finicky if you're not very comfortable with file structures to work with this. So don't feel bad about it. We all make mistakes and it took me doing this a couple times and reinstalling the game from scratch to do it right. Now, once I'm in the game here, I can see that if I go to play and I go to practice, I can go to the practice range, the game will launch. Nothing is odd about the game, nothing is strange. We haven't had any issues with the UI, the VFX, any of that loading, right? we're gonna go ahead and install some mods, right? Now I have a folder here called mods. This is where I've got the folder that I wanna look at. So I'm gonna open F model. It's still looking at these pack chunks. If they are not turning green for you and they are still red, make sure in your settings that the game version is set to UE Marvel Rivals and that in directory AES, you repaste the static key from the description down below. Okay, once you've done that and exported those main files, you're good to move on. We're gonna go to directory, selector. And I've already got my mod folder, but for this exercise, I'll show you how to set it fresh. Add undetected game, I clicked up and down arrow, it shows up. Go to directory and hit three dots. Now my folder is on the desktop. And there it is, pseudo mods. I open the mods folder and that's all I need. I select the folder I want, I hit plus, it brings it up here and I select UE versions game Marvel Rivals. Once again, you can hit this down 
And you can find the game here. And you can select it. There's all these other games here, but Marvel Rivals is here. And that's it. Once that's selected, you hit OK. It's going to restart. And come in here. Go to the folder. Double click it. You'll see right here. So this is a character mesh for Galacta. Right click it. Export folder packages raw data. If you see this, could not load virtual paths, plug in manifest not exist, you didn't click the folder or you unclicked it. Just left click it again, right click it, export. Done. So you actually exported. Once that comes up, you go to exports, Marvel, right click it, cut it. Now, I didn't change my export folder back to mods, which means I'm already in the game folder. So all I have to do is go to Marvel game, right click, paste it. Now, replace the file in the destination and you've now modded the files in the game that are relevant to what you just modded. If you don't do that, you can always grab the pack file and just drag it back in. So you go back to Marvel content packs and I'll take this VFX chunk and I'm just going to move it right back in here. And now next time the game loads, it's not going to use any of the modded content that I've added for VFX. It's going to instead utilize the VFX pack. Now, again, to be very clear, the VFX pack that I just demonstrated with is not in any way related to UI mods, character mods, sound mods. I have never done a mod that you need to change the VFX for. I believe that would be for like lightning bolts and some of the effects inside the game. If you want to mod UI mods, you need to export the files from pack chunk LQ and pack chunk HQ. Then drop them in the Marvel game folder with the, from the export. So that same structure, that Marvel game, then it goes into Marvel, content, Marvel, boom. Everything goes in the same place. So every time you export, you just drop it right in the Marvel game folder. If you're modding characters, you would do this with the character pack chunk. All right? So these are some things you can run into that you maybe have done, and you might look at this and go, oh, the first time I tried this, I did that wrong. The directory, making sure your AES key is set when you're modding the original game files is key. You do not have to set this. This should be blank for accessing the mods themselves. So when you're going to be unpacking these mods for the game, you do not need an AES key in here. See how it's blank? But if you go to the directory selector and I go back to my Marvel Rivals folder, again, UE version Marvel Rivals, and hit OK, once FMOD restarts, you will see the AES key is still applied for that game. It's smart enough to remember per game. So at that point, you should be ready to go and launch your game. Okay? That's all you got to do. So I hope that helped out. If I didn't answer your particular question or didn't give you a hint that may have helped, let me know a little bit more detail about what you're stuck with, and I'll do my best to help you out. Catch you next time. Thanks for stopping by.